How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be comparing Wix and WordPress. Now, we're going to be comparing things like customization, pricing, SEO, support, and others. Now, whether you want to build a blog or online business, you'll need to learn how to make a website. If you're trying to compare Wix versus WordPress, you might find it difficult to decide which platform would be the right choice for you. And that's what this video is for. Now, WordPress is the most popular content management system available. Although it began as a blogging platform, it's now used for virtually every type of online content. Currently, WordPress powers over 455 million websites on the internet. And one of the main reasons why people use WordPress is that it's an open source platform. This means that anyone can create, edit, and share WordPress software. Now, if you're looking for WordPress alternatives, Wix can be a great option. While WordPress is a content management system, Wix is considered a website builder. Now, when considering a website builder versus WordPress, you'll need to understand the main differences between the two. Essentially, a website builder provides user-friendly features that beginners can use to create online content with ease. Using a CMS or content management system like WordPress often enables you to control every element of your website. However, this can involve choosing your own web host, performing website maintenance, and learning how to code. Now, speaking of web hosts, I'm using Hostinger, which is a great web host that offers a whole lot of security features and a lot of benefits for really good prices. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, you'll find a full review as well as links to pricing and discounts in the description down below. Okay, now that we kind of gave a little bit of an introduction uh, into what WordPress and Wix are all about. Let's start with the comparison, starting with website design. With Wix, you'll be able to choose from over 800 pre-designed templates. Whether you're building a business, blog, or hobby website, you can find a layout that meets your needs. Each of these templates has built-in pages, so all you have to do is replace the default text and images with your own content, Plus, you can add new elements such as social media buttons, videos, and lists. You can use the Wix ADI, which is artificial design intelligence, to make this process even easier. This tool will automatically suggest a website design based on your information. Depending on your site's purpose, Wix will generate a unique template for you. Then you can edit the design with a custom color scheme. However, keep in mind that Wix doesn't allow you to switch to a different design. If you decide to use a different template in the future, you'll have to create an entirely new website. Now, in comparison, WordPress has over 9,000 free themes for you to choose from. And you can install a default WordPress theme or select one from a third-party developer. And while you're searching for a theme, you can apply filters to look for particular designs and features. And once you have a theme installed and activated, you can use the site editor to customize it. Simply adjust the color palette until it looks the way you want it. And unlike Wix, you can actually change themes whenever you want. Since WordPress provides a wider variety of flexible themes, it is definitely the winner in this category. Now, with regards to ease of use, if you're a beginner, you'll likely want a website platform that is easy to navigate. So let's evaluate Wix and WordPress in terms of ease of use. Now, after creating an account with Wix, you can start building your website for free. Once you choose the type of website you want to build, Wix will recommend adding some built-in features. For instance, if you create an online store, it will offer a chat feature, forms, and forms. Although you can fully customize a template yourself, you can let Wix design your site for you. Simply answer a few questions and you'll be able to choose from a number of recommended themes. Wix will also let you choose a pre-designed homepage template, then you can select some pages you want to add. And after this, your website will be ready for you. Simply click on different features to customize text, images, buttons, colors, and other options, and you'll be good to go. It's very easy to use. You'll have everything you need to manage your website in your Wix dashboard. And here you can access marketing and SEO tools, workflows, and analytics reports. Now, with regards to WordPress, however, there's a little bit of a learning curve. For this reason, many users install the CMS through a web host. With Hostinger, all of the hosting plans come with an auto installer, which you can access after logging in right here on the dashboard. Click on website click auto installer and it will take you to a page where you can just one click install your WordPress. And once you log into your WordPress dashboard, let's just go back to the dashboard real quick. You'll find many easy to use tools. For instance, you can manage your posts and pages using their respective tools. You can create entire pages and posts with blocks. This makes it easy to insert photographs, images, lists, or other types of content. 
You can also browse the patterns library to apply pre-designed layouts to save a little bit of time. Ultimately, WordPress requires more time to master. And since Wix provides a pre-designed website based on your input, it's more straightforward than the CMS. However, both platforms are very much beginner friendly, honestly. Now, after you choose a theme, you'll want to customize it to meet the specific needs of your website. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Wix has a drag and drop interface with the Wix editor. You can click the plus icon on the Wix editor to access new features. You can then simply drag and drop elements onto a page, including galleries, buttons, boxes, or other elements. It's as simple as this, as you can tell right here. I love how user-friendly Wix can be, especially with the drag and drop feature. And you can move it anywhere around the blocks, which is really cool and just very much user-friendly overall. Once you add a new feature, you can customize its settings. For example, you can click on change text and icon. You can add a link to it if you want it to link somewhere. You can customize the layout or design, and you can keep looking through the different designs until you're satisfied with what you have. And there are just so many things that you can add, whether it's animations to text or images to make your site stand out. You can refine your color scheme until it matches your website's branding, and Wix will provide some recommended palettes, but you can also customize each color to your liking. Now, although a Wix website is easy to edit, WordPress is one of the best CMS available when it comes to customization. You can start designing your website by adding a new post or page, then you can build it using custom blocks. And that doesn't mean you have to do it from scratch. You can just, you know, again, select one of the patterns right here and just customize whatever pattern you selected. Now, this can take a little bit more time, but it provides a broader range of features. You can add basic blocks such as photographs, headings, and lists. And by scrolling down to the theme section right here, you can format a page with a navigation bar, site logo, and post author. And again, you can save time by using pre-made patterns to make everything super easy. And this is perfect for users that don't want to spend time creating things from scratch. With the WordPress site editor, you can essentially create and edit your entire site using the same block-based process. You can customize your pages and posts while seeing how they look on the front end. Although Wix has a simple editing interface, WordPress provides more opportunities for customization. Therefore, I think WordPress wins in this category, despite how easy to use Wix can be. Now, with regards to pricing, whether you're a beginner or an experienced website owner, you'll probably want to reduce costs when building your online content. This enables you to dedicate more funds to marketing or other important business areas. Therefore, you might be wondering whether to opt for Wix or WordPress to save costs. Now, if you're looking to build a simple website, Wix is a great option. Wix includes web hosting, 50 gigabytes of storage, depending obviously on the plan you go for, but let's just assume you're going with the best value you'll be getting a dedicated customer support team. You also get access to a custom domain. You'll get a professional logo and a free SSL certificate starting at $16 a month, all the way up to $45 a month if that's what you're looking for. But again, for a small website, you can probably just go with the combo plan right here, uh, which is for personal use. And that'll be at $16 a month, offering 30 minutes of video hours and only two gigabytes. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty small website. So this is optimal for people that just want to maybe uh, create a small blog or a CV website of some sort. Now with WordPress, again, you'll probably want a hosting provider for that. Uh, and I recommend Hostinger. And the prices obviously can vary, but with Hostinger, you're getting a lot of value for the price. So if you take a look at the storage, even with the cheapest plan, you're getting way more than Wix, uh, 50 gigabytes of SSD storage, and that's just the single WordPress plan. But keep in mind, you won't be getting a free domain with that. So if you upgrade to the WordPress starter, you will get a free domain. And obviously you'll be getting all the security tools no matter which one you go for. Uh, so that includes free SSL and Cloudflare protection. So in terms of value for the money, you are certainly getting way more with Hostinger. All right, now moving on to e-commerce. Now, with regards to e-commerce, let me just bring a couple of pages right here. With a free Wix website, you won't be able to access any e-commerce features. So you'll need to opt for the business and e-commerce plans in order to get access to that, which will start at $27 a month. Although this is somewhat expensive, Although this is somewhat expensive, it offers many valuable features, even with its lowest business unlimited plan. You'll be able to secure, you'll be able to take care, you'll be able to take secure online payments 
upload unlimited products and offer subscriptions. And you can create an e-commerce website that's built for conversions. You can simply choose a pre-designed store template, add products and start selling. And it's important to keep in mind that Wix has transaction fees and you'll be charged 2.9% of the order amount plus an additional 30 cents. This may be unimportant if you sell a lot of products, but beginners might want to look for another option. Meanwhile, WordPress makes it easy to turn your website into an online store. You can download the free WooCommerce plugin to create a shop and sell products and services. And just to demonstrate very quickly, let's go back to the WordPress dashboard right here. And over here, we'll go down to plugins, add new. And from there, I'll look up WooCommerce. And that's exactly what we're looking for right here. You can just install it and get going. And if you don't want to download and configure WooCommerce yourself, Hostinger provides dedicated WooCommerce hosting, and this will automatically install WooCommerce and optimize your online store for speed. And WooCommerce hosting, while a little bit more expensive, still more affordable than Wix, and it can be a simple, affordable solution when you're first building your business website. Now, with regards to SEO, or otherwise known as search engine optimization, essentially SEO is the process of improving your visibility in search result pages. When you can rank higher, you will drive more visitors to your website naturally. Now, with Wix, there are many ways to improve your SEO. On your dashboard, you'll see a section for SEO tools. Here, you'll have everything you need to start getting found on Google. Wix can give you an SEO setup checklist to get you started. After adding your site name and some basic keywords, it will walk you through some improvements you need to make. You can also edit your SEO settings for every page. This can involve adding a title tag, a meta description, structured data markup, and additional meta tags. And some extra SEO tools you can use in Wix will include sitemaps, robots.text editor, URL direct manager, and site verification. And if you need additional features, you can always search the app market for SEO tools, and this can help you optimize your site even further. On the other hand, with WordPress, it provides you all these basic SEO features and more. You can choose an SEO-friendly theme, customize your permalink structure, create categories and tags, and enable breadcrumbs. Plus you can install WordPress SEO plugins such as Yoast SEO, and this popular tool can help you improve your SEO all in one place. After installing Yoast SEO, you can get on-page analysis of each post and page on your website. Here you can add a focus keyword, title, and meta description, and then you'll get some recommendations for improving your SEO. And although Wix provides many ways to improve your site's SEO, this is easier to do in WordPress. By simply installing a dedicated plugin, you can get access to automatic checklists and manage your SEO while editing a post. Now, in terms of security, Wix contains built-in protection from security threats. Uh, its platform performs self-updates, so your site won't run on outdated software. There's also security monitoring, uh, DDoS protection, and two-step verification. Now, with WordPress, your level of security can vary, which is why I recommend Hostinger because it provides all these security features no matter the uh, plan you go for. So for example, Hostinger's plans come with a web application firewall, free SSL certificate, a free website domain starting with the WordPress starter plan, free migration and weekly backups with the single WordPress and WordPress starter plan and daily backups with the business and WordPress pro plans. And to keep your WordPress site secure, you'll have to perform frequent updates. You'll need to run the latest software updates and keep track of new plugin and theme versions. And for extra protection, you can install security plugins. Now, the bottom line is that you're responsible for securing your WordPress website. With the right measures in place, WordPress can be just as secure as Wix. However, Wix offers more security right out of the box, whereas with WordPress, you'll have to do a basic level of configuration or perhaps install a plugin or two. Now to conclude, both Wix and WordPress can help you build a professional website. Overall, WordPress can be more affordable, customizable, and well-suited for blogging. However, you might find better benefit from Wix's straightforward website building process. And just to quickly go over customer support, Wix does provide 24 customer support, whereas WordPress users have to rely on their hosting providers or community forums for assistance. But this is exactly why I recommended Hostinger because they do have 24 seven 365 support no matter which plan you go for. Now just a few things to consider when comparing Wix versus WordPress. First of all, in terms of web design, WordPress offers many free themes that you can customize without coding experience. For ease of use, both Wix and WordPress have a simple beginner-friendly interface, but WordPress provides a more extensive setup process. In terms of customization, thanks to its block editor and full site editing, 
WordPress is more flexible and customizable. Pricing wise, although you can build a free website with Wix, WordPress often provides more value for its cost. And with the free website builder with Wix, you're not gonna be getting all the premium features that you're probably looking for. In terms of third-party extensions, Wix and WordPress both support third-party extensions for adding new functionality to your website. However, WordPress provides a broader selection of plugins, which can be very useful. In terms of e-commerce, to turn a WordPress website into an online store, you can simply install an e-commerce plugin, whereas with Wix, you'll have to purchase a more expensive subscription. In terms of SEO, both Wix and WordPress offer essential SEO tools. However, WordPress provides additional SEO plugins where you can manage these features in one place. In terms of security, Wix offers many security features right out of the box, but WordPress websites can be just as secure with a proper hosting plan and regular updates, which again is exactly why I'm recommending Hostinger. It offers a whole lot of value. It's much more budget friendly than Wix and you get a lot of value, but you'll just have to put in a little bit more effort in order to get your website up and running. Anyways, that'll be it for this video. I hope this Wix versus WordPress guide has helped to choose a platform for your new website. If you have any questions regarding these two platforms, feel free to leave a comment down below. And again, you'll find the links to pricing and discounts to Hostinger if you guys are interested in the description below, as well as a full review if you'd like to learn more about Hostinger. Besides that, like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting. It would help me out so, so much. And it really does make a difference when you show that you're supporting the channel. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.